Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a cleaning video. I wanted to do a kitchen cleaning 101 type of video of how to keep your kitchen clean throughout the day, week, month. I am a big kitchen cleaner. Like I just have to have my kitchen clean no matter what. I don't know. I feel like I get grouchy if it's like all clean and then somebody makes a mess. I'm just like right away like go pick it up. Like sometimes I think I drive my husband crazy. But um, yeah, I just I feel like the kitchen is the center of our house and whatever is the center of the house I always feel that needs to be clean at all times especially like when you have guests come over or surprise guests I don't know it just it makes the house look and feel great when you have it clean if your guys's kitchen is like in the back of your house not even in the front then you don't have to worry about that <laughs> but mine's like right when you walk in so I'm just like I need to have my kitchen clean all the time so I'm gonna do like a little walkthrough kitchen clean video with you guys. Um, this is kind of a kitchen mess from last night a little bit because I just didn't really have the energy to clean it. But um, it's not as bad as you would think because I'm always keeping my kitchen clean. So right now I'm gonna start off, um, normally when I do clean my kitchen, I always start off with washing everything. Like I wash all the dishes that need to be washed and I just put them all away. I don't wipe counters off yet, I don't sweep, I don't do none of that. I always wash and put away my dishes before I start doing anything else. So I don't use my dishwasher, it works perfectly fine. I can use my dishwasher if I want. I prefer washing my dishes by hand. I feel like they get clean that way. I know some dish soap is different for the dishwasher, but my personal opinion, dishes get a lot more cleaner when you wash them by hand. I know it's a lot more work. Sometimes it's not ideal and you just like to put the dishes in the dishwasher, but they get cleaned better if you're washing them by hand. So that's just my personal preference. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start washing my dishes. So that's pretty much what I do. I will, um, well, I put them away first, the ones that are in the dishwasher, because I stack them in my dishwasher. I don't have a dish rack. I just think it looks a little bit messy in my kitchen for me because I have everything so open and I don't like a dish rack in the sink because it takes up both sinks. So, um, I don't know if this is all my personal preference. It's ne has nothing to do with anyone and how they keep their kitchen, but I just personally don't like a dish rack. So I always put my, my dishes in the, um, dishwasher depending. Sometimes I put them on a rag and I just kind of like dry them and then put them away at the same time. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So I'm going to take out the dishes from the dishwasher, put them away, and then wash these ones. So these are the dishes that I have to wash and as you guys can tell it's basically all of the kids things. Like the kids are who make the most dishes. So yeah basically all of this is pretty much the kids. Just the coffee in the morning, these cups obviously like for adults but other than that it's all the kids <laughs> Ajax brand. I've used this brand for basically all my life that I've lived out of the house and on my own. It's just, it gets the job done. I do like the Dawn soap as well, um, but I just prefer this. I don't know, I've always used it, so I really like Ajax um, just soap, and I always normally stick with like the lemon scent, or sometimes I get the citrus, so yeah, but I'm using this one today. So if I have a lot of dishes like this, I always fill up one side with hot water and then I put in um, the dish soap with it. So that way it um, basically is just sitting in soapy water. And then I use, I use that water as like water to dip my sponge in as I'm washing the dishes on this side. So this 
is where I normally put my dishes at. Like I said, if it's a lot of dishes like this, I will fill up one sink with hot water and soap and let them sit in there. Also, if I do have a lot of uh, pots and pans, I always wash them first. I don't know why. I just do it that way as I let these sit. So that way I'm not using a lot of water. I just put my sponge back in there and, you know, wash away. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I do to wash my dishes. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash them as you guys will see in the clip. I just wiped down the sink a little bit. I'm not going to fully clean it yet because I'm going to let the lids and straws sit in the soapy hot water. It's actually really hot so they're just sitting in there to get a lot like get more clean and then I'm going to wash them and then put them away afterwards but I'm going to start cleaning the rest of the kitchen while that happens. So on a regular day basis I always have my countertops cleaned. I just go around throughout the day wiping them down. I just, it's a habit and it's actually a good habit because they always stay clean. But I did cook earlier so there is crumbs little here and there so I'm going to go ahead and just wipe down all of my counters. And I always wipe my counters down with vinegar and dish soap, the Dawn dish soap, vinegar and water. So that's pretty much what I always wipe down my counters with. It works really well and it doesn't leave that like strong smell in the house. down my counters I'm gonna go ahead and wash what I have left in here and clean down my sink Lysol cleaner all over my sink and then just wiping it down. So this is what I use to clean my sink. It actually cleans it really well. about what I use to mop with I use fabuloso and I mix it with water um, I mop a lot so I'm running out but um, I'm gonna go ahead and mop I'm gonna go get my bucket and my mop and I'm just gonna fill it up with water and then um, mop the floor but first I need to sweep so I just wanted to show you guys what I use 
Uh, also, I get questions on how often I clean my Keurig. I always clean my Keurig once a week. Um, I wipe it down really good. I already cleaned it on Monday. I clean out the water tank. Like, I wash it with soap and stuff. I wash it really good. And then I clean out. I actually had to change the filter this week, so I changed it, like, I believe on Wednesday. So, yeah, I, um... I pretty, I always clean my Keurig. I even take it off the stand, wipe the stand down. But um, yeah, I clean it once a week, but I'm gonna get sweeping now. what I do to keep my kitchen clean throughout the day. Um, I kind of give you like a cleaning routine that I do on Mondays and Fridays because this is normally how I clean on Mondays and Fridays but I normally just try to keep up my kitchen and it always stays clean so that way I'm not always having to do so much work in the kitchen because I'm constantly in the kitchen. I don't know about everyone else but I'm constantly in the kitchen no matter what. Like I'm always cooking, I'm always cleaning, I'm always getting the good snacks. I'm just always in the kitchen 24-7 so this is like the place where it has to be clean or I'm unhappy. So yeah, it's pretty much I just always wipe down the counters, I'm always keeping up after my dishes. Um, the stove, microwave, dishwasher, everything gets deep cleaned on one day and that's normally the weekends. So this is pretty much just like my weekly cleaning routine of what I do. Um, and then Mondays and Fridays I sweep and mop. And then um, the trash gets taken out by my husband maybe twice a week. And then... Yeah, so it's pretty much what I do to keep my kitchen clean. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button for more videos. And I will catch y'all in my next video.